So if we take 45 squared, all you do is you take the 4 times by the next number is 5, and put a 25 on the end. So that is 20, 25. Let's take another 175 squared. We take the 7 times by the next number, which is 8, and put a 25 on the end. 7 8 and 56, so that's 5, 6, 2, 5. One last example, 95 squared would be 9 times 10, 25, which is 90, 25. Nine times table trick. Let's say I want to do nine times six. Take one away for six to get five. Five and four make nine, so it's 54. Nine times eight. One away for eight is seven. Seven and two make nine, so it's 72. One last example. Nine times three is two. Two and seven make nine, so it's 27. Not a point in number 11. Let's say I've got 2, 2, 1 times 11. The answer is 1, 3, 4 and 2. And I'll explain that. All you do, 1 at the end, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 is nothing, it's 2. Let's we'll try another example. Let's say we've got 3, 8, 1, 1, 4 times 11. Slow it down a little bit, you've got 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 8 is 9, 8 plus 3 is 11, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4, 1, 9, 2, 5, 4. One last example, nice and big, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 7 times 11, we're going to have a 7 to start with, 7 and 2 make 9, 2 and 1 make 3, 1 and 6 makes 7, 6 and 5 is 11, 5 and 2 is 7 and 1 is 8, 2 and 3 is 5, 3 and 1 is 4, 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 1 is 3, and 2 and nothing is 2. So you've got 2, 3, 2, 4, 5, 8, 1, 7, 3, 9, 7. Multiply any two digit numbers together. So let's say we have 21 times 32. 1 times 2 is 2. And then we've got our inside, 1 times 3. Our outside, 2 times 2. So that's 3 and 4 makes 7. And then, of course, we've got our first numbers. 2 times 3 is 6. And you get a nice little picture of a graph. Let's do another example just to illustrate this. A little bit harder this time, 57 times 23. So we've got 7 times 3 is 21, carry the 2. We've got our inside, 7 times 2 is 14. Our outside, 5 times 3 is 15. 14 and 15 make 29, the extra 2 make 31. And then of course we've got our firsts, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So we get 13. I love it. Square any digit number. Now this is a little bit harder because we're going to try and do this in our heads, but I'll explain the method first. So let's say we've got 21 squared to make the numbers nice and easy. I go down to the nearest 10, which is 20. I went down by 1, so I go up by 1, which is 22. I went down and up by 1, so I add 1 squared. I'm going to explain how this works. I'm just going to show you it working. There'll be another video for that one. So 20 times 22. Well, 10 22s is 220. Double is 440. Add the 1 squared is 441. Let's do another example. Let's try something harder. 67 squared. So the nearest 10 is 70. We're up by 3, so I'll go down by 3 to 64. And then I add the difference squared. That's 3 squared. So 70 times 64, well 70 times 6, 6 times is 42, is 4,200 for 70 times 60. 70 times 4 is 280, so 4,200 plus an extra 280 makes 4,480 plus the 3 squared is 4,489. And you can see my working there in my head. 
Let's show you another one, and this is a good one to try if you want to practice and impress people. A number in the 90s. So let's say, let's do it at the side here. 99 squared. So you can see the plan. I'm going to go up to 100. Maybe 10. Down by the same amount, so 98. And the difference is 1, so add 1 squared. Now this is nice and easy. 100 times 98 is 9800. Add 1 is 9801. And we're done.